Hey guys, it's Gus from Harbor Unplugged, and today I have a different video. So I saw the so I have the Aerox 3 right here, and I haven't used it in forever, right? But I saw these ceramic feet on uh, Amazon, and I got curious. Um, they look like the sh this size will fit. Really, they will fit pretty well in this Aerox 3 wireless. So I want to see how. Uh, how they will actually perform uh, with uh, ceramic feet in case anybody was wondering uh, well here's here's your answer right here so let's find out so these ceramic feet they've been out since forever I think like a year or two already and these were I think that's when they came out they were like 20 bucks but now you can find them for like 10 bucks on Amazon and I, well, I got these for 12 actually but I think you can find them cheaper in some in some uh, in some places or in a few times I've seen them so for pretty cheap um, but yeah, so yeah, so here these are the RX3 wireless. So I have Tiger Ice skates on this, and there these things are actually pretty smooth and actually pretty fast. So I have, for example, this is my uh, Model O minus. The stock feet on the Model O minus are actually pretty smooth and pretty fast too, but they're not as smooth and they're not as fast as the uh, Tiger Ice skates. So I wonder how uh, these ceramic feet would perform on, let's say, this. Uh, Aqua Control Plus Two, for example. So yeah, let's see how uh, let's see how it does. So let's take out the moss feet. So take out the moss feet. I personally use my fingernails. So you could also use um, like some type of wedge or something to go underneath the uh, the moss feet, uh, and that's always recommended. Just because you don't want to uh, hurt your your fingernails, hurt yourself and stuff, because it can happen. And there you go. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so that was pretty easy actually. Now let's actually now let's put the uh, ceramic feet. Okay, so these things have this film underneath them. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick that up. No, I don't think so. Okay, so these are the feet. You know what? I thought these were gonna be thicker, but they're not that thick. I mean, they're thick. They're thicker than uh, than the uh, other mouse feet, right? They really, uh, they're, they're thicker than the tiger ice feet, right? But uh, they're not as thick as I thought they were gonna be. And I think these are. Let me see. 0.6. No, 1.2 millimeters uh, thick. So, there you go. Now for this. I believe I have to stick the moss feet, moss foot under here. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck. Jesus, these are annoying as shit, man. Alright, I'll be back whenever I finish putting these things on. Jesus. Yeah, these are annoying as hell. Um, to install, I will be right back when I finish installing them. Holy crap, look at this. How annoying is this? Jesus. The hell man Jesus it should not be this hard to freaking install mouse feet oh no I didn't even I bent it Jesus fucking oh god fuck these feet these feet should be cheaper Jesus Christ one down that took way longer than expected what the fuck man Okay, so after like freaking, what, 10 minutes, 8 minutes, I finally got the freaking mouse feet in there. That was pretty annoying. And these feel faster and smoother than Tiger Arc. Holy crap. So, this is going to change the uh, way the uh, sensor tracks because um, I believe some mice have an issue with these feet on tracking. Now, the Eric Street doesn't have any software to adjust lift off distance so that's another question that I have whether this was gonna be able to work um, or track now that I install these feet um, so yeah let's go ahead and try that and I have Kovacs up here running so let's go ahead and switch to that all right uh, let's see so this seems to be tracking fine right now let's try some Kovacs runs let me try my B180 Sparky. I love that scenario. It's good for um, if you're a shaky aimer. I, f 
I think that's a pretty good scenario to try because um, it makes you um, correct your micro adjustments a lot and sometimes I know when I'm gonna gun fight I tend to shake my aim and this would this scenario helps with that so stop play this start challenge and let's see how it tracks and there seems to be no stuttering yeah no stuttering holy crap i think it's actually working quite nicely dude All right, it's so, okay, yeah, so that's pretty freaking, okay. You know what, I actually like these ceramic feet. And the best part about it is that I have, um, I have these other ones over here. The, um, let me see. The g -Wolf ones, and I may install them in, I don't know what the mouse will install them, to be honest. Um, I'll try to see what mouse uh, we'll be good with them. Maybe the uh, Cougar 3, um, the Airblader. I mean the Cougar 3, maybe the Airblader. Um, I'm maybe not just because I haven't seen any aftermarket fee for this mouse. Which is unfortunate because I feel like this is a really good claw grip mouse and it's only 40 bucks. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, Core Pads or somebody else makes aftermarket fee for this mouse. Um, and if they do, then I will go ahead and try these... Uh, Mouse feet, just because I don't want to take these off and replace them with ceramic feet and I don't like it. Um, but yeah, well, well, maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe after trying this, I may actually just do that. Because you know what? I actually like the way they feel. They're actually really smooth and they're actually pretty freaking fast, dude. Like, they're pretty fast. Yeah, so they, these mouse feet feel pretty good on the Ogon Control, Control Plus 2, which is a pretty good mouse pad. Um, it's kind of similar to their uh, Razer Strider. Um, but yeah, these feel, they feel freaking fast on this, and this actually feels pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, in case you were curious, in ca blah. so yeah, in case you were curious about the RX3 wireless, or if you have the RX3 wireless and you want to know if the ceramic feet will fit here, um, yeah, they fit, and if they work, yeah, they work. This is the Artisan Zero Soft. Now compare with the okay, wow, holy crap. Okay, so the Artisan Zero Soft actually feels quite nice in this mouse pad and it actually feels speedier and this is a soft hmm but you can still press in quite well huh it is actually pretty good hey maybe these ceramic mouse feet are actually golden you know what we actually have glass mouse feet here too that we're gonna try with the x-lite and it's gonna be very interesting to see which one we like better the glass feet or the ceramic feet um but for ceramic feet on, on cloth like the artisan zero let me see yeah so on cloth they feel pretty good i guess let me try something like cordura okay so that's very interesting <laughs> what the heck okay so i feel like this is the ceramic feet on cordura feel a little slower let me get the mbc for 50 out to confirm it too Yeah, okay, so it actually, it actually, it's actually faster, but like you feel the uh, surface a lot <laughs> while moving your mouse around, like underneath your feet. You feel like this, like, like a little bit of like a bumpiness to it. Yeah. Interesting. Pretty cool, actually. Um, but yeah, like, you don't lose the speed with the Cordura mouse pads. It just feels different. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the Aerox 3 wireless um, with the ceramic mouse feet. Um, yeah, I actually freaking dig it. Uh, that's pretty freaking cool. Pretty freaking awesome. Holy crap. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much shit. Um, Strive and Mouse Feed are actually pretty damn good. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna try to try these on some random mouse. Or if you guys have a suggestion on one mouse you guys want to see me use these Strive and Mouse Feed on, let me know down below and I may actually, uh, consider it. Um, but yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope, this, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it was informative for you guys. Uh, this is Gus from Hot Run Plug, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.